82,000 startups registered in the country. But if you see the profile of these startup founders, they are coming as right type of mentoring, right type of hand holding. And therefore, Department of Science Network of 160 incubators across the country, and they are uh, providing hand holding support. Uh, Dr. S. Reddy, who is uh, the director of CSIR, with me, uh, uh, the very senior vice. This credit goes to our minister, and he has been giving direction to EST to see that how this ecosystem of innovation is spread across the country. We will keep up with the updates. Vice Chancellor Saveri Mosti, Professor Shibi Ramshu, sir. Uh, Professor Vidram Kanai sir, uh, Professor Shahid Rasul sir, delegates and representatives from various organizations. We have to make these jobs and services. One in Urdu. Thank you everybody for participating in India. With these, Dr. Jitendra Singh to come over here and share his remarks pertaining to today's event. शुरुआती दौर में जो मोदी जी ने याद दिया था उसमें यह था कि मुल्क के ऐसे हिस्से ऐसे खत्ते जो उस कदर तरक्की ना कर पाए जिस तरह से कुछ और रियासतें कर पाई उनको उस मकाम तक ला करके ताकि हिंदुस्तान की हर रियासत हर खत्ता एक तरह से तरक्की कर सके और सारे के सारे हिंदुस्तान की तरक्की तभी होंगे and the exact words he used was that if you, one arm of Mother India remains feeble, however stronger is the other arm, the total growth of Mother India will not be possible. So, this is why one thing is and the other and for that, when they said this, it was in their mind when they were in Jammu Kashmir, North East, Island Territories, जो कहीं ना कहीं पिछली सरकारों की प्रायोरिटीज से छूट गई थी जिनको शायद उस तरह की तवज्जो नहीं मिली जिसके वो हकदार थे वजूहत कोई भी रही हो उसमें नहीं जा रहा लेकिन मोदी जी ने एक नई तहजीब इस मुल्क में पैदा करने का एक कोशिश की है कि जिस चीज की जहां कोताही रह गई उसकी भरपाई की जाए जहां जिस चीज की जरूरत है उसको पहुंचाया जाए ये नहीं पूछना कि मजहब क्या है जात क्या है ये भी नहीं पूछना वोट पिछली बार हमको दिया था किसी और को दिया ये भी नहीं कहना कि आज स्टार्टअप किया तो इस बार अगली बार भेज देना वो छोड़ दे आवाम पर उनके विवेक पर उनकी जहनीत पर लेकिन अगर हमने हिंदुस्तान की मुकम्मल तरक्की का कोई मसूबा बनाना है तो मुमकिन नहीं कि कोई हिस्सा पीछे छोड़ जाए आई एग्री विद यूर टू एड टू वॉट यू से I think you would recall that uh, way back in 2015, from the ramparts of the Red Fort, during his Independence Day address, Prime Minister Modi had given a call for Stand Up India, Start Up India. And after that, it picked up as a movement. Before 2014, India hardly had about 350 startups or so. Now, the number of startups in India has gone beyond 80,000. We have more than 100 unicorns. And uh, the Indian ecosystem is rated at number three in the world. And Indian startups and boys, girls from India, are sought after for startup initiatives even abroad because they had the talent, they had the potential, they had the capacity, they had the diligence, but they didn't have the proper opportunity. And I think that is what has been made up in the last eight, nine years under Prime Minister Modi. And as far as uh, innovation is concerned, it also gains importance because no government can provide a government salary job to every individual. But a responsible government like the Modi government is always keen to create opportunities for livelihood, for startups. And that is where the importance of the startup comes. And as far as Kashmir is concerned, I think this region, this part of the country has uh, rather not been exposed enough to this startup concept. And uh, somehow this uh, Sarkari Naukari concept has got into our mindset, which is actually hindering the progress of the next generation. In spite of the fact that we have huge resources of agriculture. So the agri-tech startup, as you rightly said, the innovation. Innovation is not necessarily science. It is, of course, the science and technology is involved in there, but you don't have to be a science graduate to be innovative. So I'm sure these uh, in the next 25 years, which Prime Minister Modi keeps referring to as Amrit Kal, when India is going to be a frontline nation in the world, 
it is these resources from these Himalayan regions, these states, the hill states, Jammu Kashmir, Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh, we are, which are going to contribute the maximum because their potential has remained unexplored. Huge aroma. Uh, just, I think it's not been widely publicized, though it should have been. The aroma mission began from Jammu and Kashmir. The purple revolution, which is being talked about all over India, is actually born from Jammu and Kashmir. In nearby Gulmarg, actually, it was started. And those who have got into this are making lakhs. So, making startup as an avenue of livelihood is what is going to sustain the livelihood of the youth. That is what is going to sustain the startup movement. And that is also going to be the more the startup uh, opportunities become attractive, the youth will then realize that. Uh, the government job is not actually the only option available to them. And therefore, I think our focus in this region has to be on agri-tech startups. We have huge agriculture potential. Then instead, in, spite, in, in addition to that, we have the dairy sector over here. Now, as far as government is concerned, our department is the Department of Biotechnology, CSIR, Science and Technology. We are providing all kind of assistance. All those startup groups who venture into this are given funding. They are given technical support. They are done hand-holding and uh, those who have got involved in the lavender cultivation and the other aroma initiatives, we have also done some market arrangement for them. So many of the products produced by them are marketed outside in the other states like Maharashtra, Gujarat, etc. And they are making quite a good fortune out of this.